Because it's yeah. Sister Jada up here today. Yeah. Wow. I'm reminded of my mom. She would always say, I'm not getting no program. That's for the younger people. So I almost feel like it's time for me to be like, I ain't getting no program. That's for the younger people. So thank God to see these young people standing Lord on the word of God today. It will go forward. The word will go forward. It's going to go forward today. And we got proof right here in the Israelite church. Thank God today. So I think my scripture is. Oh, Lord. Ephesians 3, 17b through 19. I'm going to try my best to read that. I had a specific version I wanted to read, but apparently God don't want me to read that because it's not loading up on my phone. So it says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith and I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people uh -huh. to grasp how wide yes, yes. and long yes, yes. and how deep and high Lord, is the love of Christ yes Lord and then to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. So in Ephesians, Paul is in his first imprisonment, physical and spiritual. And Paul says that he has been imprisoned because he has a special responsibility of extending grace to the Gentiles. So if you read up in that first 16 verses of Ephesians 3, he calls it a mysterious plan. He said God has a mysterious plan. In verse 3, he says, This mysterious plan, this mystery made known to me by revelation, as I have already written briefly. In reading this, then you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ which was not made known to people in other generations right. as it is now being revealed by the spirits of God's holy apostle and prophets. This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body and sharers together in the promise in Jesus Christ. He said, I became a servant of this gospel by the gift of God's grace given me through the working of his power. Although I am less than the least of all God's people, this grace was given to me to do what? To preach to the Gentiles the boundless riches of Christ and to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery, which for past ages was hidden in God who created uh -huh. all things. So Paul says this was a mysterious plan. And then in verse 9, he says, but... It wasn't a secret. It was hidden, but it wasn't a secret. And so now he's been brought forth to share the love of God that was there from in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to just have two points. Mysterious. I want to unearth what is mysterious or a mystery. And a mystery is just something that's difficult to understand. It's not a secret. It's just difficult to understand. So that means some people sitting in here today may find this difficult to understand, but the mystery is out. The secret is out, and so I hope y'all get it today. And then to understand this love, God's love, oh, yes. that was here in the beginning. Not at all. So unearth this mystery and understand that God's love for us started in the beginning. Yes, yes, yes. And so in the beginning, that's where God's love began. Yes. That's the beginning of God's love story with us. In the beginning in Genesis 1 and 1, when he created the heavens and the earth, Hebrews 1 and 10, you, Lord, the beginning laid the foundation of the earth, the heavens are the work of your hands. 
In the beginning yes, was the word and the word was God and the word was with God and he was with God in the beginning. Yes, that beginning is where God's love that for you began. began. It wasn't it wasn't when your mom and daddy decided to have you because scripture says before you were born I chose you. Before you were formed in your mother's womb I appointed you. So not in your mama daddy's beginning but in the beginning in God's beginning. When he laid the foundation of the earth he said I love you. I chose you. I made purpose for you in the beginning. Amen. So before you failed that sixth grade class, come on. Before you misspelled the word gorilla in the spelling bee rose, before you dropped out of high school or couldn't finish, before you were divorced, before you were homeless, before you were jobless before you all of that before your diagnosis of bipolar disorder rose before I loved you yeah, hallelujah that's what God is saying I loved you in the beginning that's and right. Paul says I want you to understand this mystery that his love for you started in the beginning so your roots are caught up on your beginning and God says go deeper with me and meet me at my beginning because I am Alpha and Omega. There is no beginning to my love and there's no ending to my love. Meet God at the beginning. That's what Paul wants you to understand today. You are loving him and you believe that he loves you from your beginning but God said at the beginning when I formed the earth and it was what it was void and with that form I loved you girl yes, sir. Yes, sir. before your daddy died I loved you girl before you saw your mama abused and mistreated I loved you Jada yes, sir. in my beginning Think about it. That's the word. Like you would a car manufacturer. Christ made you. He created you. And before any dealer offered you to be bought or to be purposed, you had a value. Before you drove off the lot, you had value. Because when I made you, I loved you. I put everything inside of your car that you needed to operate. So regardless if somebody drove you off the lot or you sat there for years and you come right back and I receive you unto myself, yeah. I love you yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. And Paul says in the scripture, it is my prayer. He's petitioning on your behalf that you understand this mystery yes, that sir. God loved you from the beginning. Lord of God. Yes, Lord of God. Lord God, if you let them understand that I loved you from your beginning. Thank you. Sing your word. They'll understand how deep Shut and up. how far how and how you. long yeah. and how wide. Yes, you, can't, you can't escape him. You can't escape his love. You can't his love. You can't do nothing to separate yourself from his love because it started in the beginning. What shall separate us? No angel. No demon. No principality. I am persuaded that nothing will separate me from the love of God. Because why? It started in the beginning. You thinking it started because you somebody's wife or you landed somebody's job or you finished some degree or you work on some company. No, baby. It started way back in the beginning. Thank you. His love ain't tied to that thing. Thank you. And if you unearth this, this is what Paul is telling us today. If you open 
open your mind to receive the love of Christ today. He said, then, then you'll understand how deep it is. Like the woman at the well, she was trying, you know what a well is. The water is way down at the bottom. You in a desert place, but the water is down at the bottom of the well. And she was going to ring up the water from the bottom of the well. And God met her at the well. That's how deep my love is for you. You trying to dig water out of desert place and I run deep, baby. It's that I am the everlasting spring of water and life. No man thirsts if he drink from me. My love is deep. It's well deep. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. You can meet me at the well, Rose. <laughs> Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. They might be meeting me. Oh, she did this. Sister had this of her. Sister bendable. That's okay. That's okay. God said, my love is deep. Yeah. Because I can meet you at the well. God say, my love is long. Because he say, I threw all that stuff into the sea of forgetfulness. And as far as the east is from the west, that's how long my love is for you. You can't mess with that thing. I don't know where east of my compass be messing me up. I don't get all of that. I don't have to understand all of that. All I have to know is God say he loves me longer than the east is from the west. Hallelujah. You can't shame me. You can't get rid of me. You can't get sick of me because God loves me. Hallelujah. Why? Because he loved me in the yes, beginning. Sir. And it can't be measured. It can't be measured. It ain't one of those types of love that most people can understand. That's why Paul says it's a mystery. Uh -huh. He says it's real difficult to understand. Some mysteries they you can't understand. Paul says it's a mystery. He said, but I'm praying these two things for you. Yeah. I'm first praying that God's resources who are <laughs> limitless would grant believers inner strength Thank you. In their present experience. Yes, Lord. So he wants you to trust in God's love Hallelujah. right now where you are. Right now. Thank in you. your present experience. And right you may feel you as if you've done something to disconnect yourself from God's love. And Paul is saying, strengthen up because that's a lie. Yeah. Strengthen up because that's a lie. Let them, you ain't lost your job because I'm, I'm embarrassed of you or I'm ashamed of you or I didn't make you perfect and in the image of God. Strengthen up because that's a lie. Hallelujah. You ain't failed that class. You ain't miscarried that baby. You ain't sick. You ain't got a diagnosis because you separated from my love. Strengthen up because that's a lie. In your present experience, right where you are right now today, God is saying, I love you. And Paul says, strengthen them up, God, so that they in their inner mind can receive it. Thank you. And then Paul says, when you believe that God loved you from the very beginning. Hallelujah. When you believe that. Yes, sir. God let it show up in their lives. Oh, yeah. In their homes. In their minds, yeah. in their attitudes, uh -huh. in your conduct, yep. in the way you walk, in the way you talk, yep. in the way you live, yeah. in the way that you love. Paul said, God, let them be empowered yeah. because they know you love them from the beginning. Let them be secure in your love. Not a God. He said, let them be rooted. And grounded yes, sir. in love. Glory to God. They may try to dig up your roots, but your roots, they run deep. Uh -huh. Why? Because they was planted in the beginning. Oh, my to God. My to God. My to God. It ain't a mystery no more after today. Shut up. My God. So we have unearthed, we have discovered 
Well, Why some people going to go to their grave and they not going to be able to receive. We have unearthed the mystery. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That God loved you from the very beginning. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Whatever you saw in your childhood, whatever child molestation, whatever disappointment, whatever abandonment, rejection, whatever fear that you thought that you were going to succumb to, God said, no, nah, think further than that. That may be oh, your beginning, right. but my beginning started when I laid the foundation of the earth. And that's, that's where right. I want you to dig that's deep right. and that's recognize right. my love for you. In the very beginning, my that's God. when I shaped you in my love. The scriptures say we were shaped in iniquity, but this says our love predated when we were shaped in our physical bodies with iniqu in iniquities. So God is saying, before you were shaped in sin and iniquity, I loved you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. So that trumps anything. Oh, yeah. God. Come on now. Thank you, Lord. God's love was here and it will last. It is yes, sir. everlasting to yes, sir. everlasting. And you don't have no shallow roots. You got deep Thank roots. You. So I don't care what a therapist tell you. I'm telling you what God tells you. That God loves you and he made you. And you are beautiful in his eyes. And you are made in his perfect image. And everything about you, Kajila, he loves. You got roots that go way back past Annie Jane Street. You got God's love wrapped up around you. And your roots will last. I am Alpha and Omega. Your roots will last. We can't even get to understand how deep his love is for us. How wide and long love is for us because we ain't going back to the beginning. Oh, glory to God. Go back. Go back. Hallelujah. God don't want you to read all these love stories in the Bible and just think they was for Moses Lord, or just think it. they was for the mother of Jesus yeah. or just think that they was for Joseph. How God must have loved him to give him vision and dreams. Yeah. God is saying no. I'm telling you your history today, right now. Thank you, Lord. And it's a reason why black folks were separated from their history and from their roots. It made you not have a sense of belonging. And we know belonging matters. Uh huh. And so they separated you from all of your history. And so I'm unearthing the mystery. Here's your history. Thank you. Here's your history. God loved you from the beginning. Glory to God. He loved you from the beginning, and then he sent you a Bible that you can read that yeah. is a testament of how he loved David. Glory to God. How he loved Joseph, how he loved John, God. the disciple that Jesus loved. All of that is in. Write your name in this book because you are loved by God. This book wasn't just to be a book about John, Joseph, Jacob, Israel. This book was about you. Glory to God. Write your name in the book and say, I am love. I am fearfully and wonderfully yeah. made. Yes, My God cares for me. Thank you, Lord. If he meets a woman at the well, he'll meet me on Pringle. He'll meet me at West Dallas. He'll meet me at the schoolhouse. God loves me. And his love predates any kind of love I have for myself. It predates it goes back Glory to the God. beginning. God bless you.